Yeah, speaking about Rasputin dying and undeath, I assume everyone's here and ready. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> We're so fucked. <laughs> All right. So last time we left our heroes, uh, it was a very close fight <laughs> by the skin of the teeth. Pulling all the stops, using all of your abilities, you have did your best in trying to stop Zillal from basically exploding the entire mountain range. It was close. Not close uh, enough. However, close enough. And as we finished, the entire uh, like Hellmouth stronghold was in the process of being engulfed by uh, lava, the caverns were collapsing. Uh, I mentioned that among, in terms of enemies, uh, the elementals, uh, they screeched in pain, however elemental sound, and they dissolved into uh, pure ether uh, energy. Uh, and essentially combat is over, you very much have a possibility to uh, escape. Uh, and yeah, you just felt as if something walked over your collective uh, grace when this amount of energy was uh, unleashed and the entire area started shaking and uh, erupting. And actually I do have a question to Zixos and or Abby. Because the moment the eruption started, the entire like resonance cascade type of thing began happening. The mad bomber, the hobgoblin alchemist, just stopped attacking you. There was like no hostile intent from him, and he just looked with some, if you could guess, in just this blink of a moment, some trepidation, but also this uh, utter joy at this magnificent explosion. Happening uh, right in front of him. So I guess my question is: Do you just completely ignore him and let him dissolve into magma, <laughs> or just like through the drive-by and just finish him off uh, while he's uh, distracted? Or I think Ostrak has the answer. <clears throat> Find him over backwards, make sure he's paralyzed so we can't escape the lava. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's right. brutal. Do you lose him as well, or...? <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, so right. Astrid breaks his back, kicks him into the lava, and we start booking it out of here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, no, I don't even kick him into the lava, I just book it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he oh. will be falling into the lava very quickly as the entire... Uh, Cavern is being slow, not slowly, but rapidly being engulfed by bubbling. I, I think you uh, let him still enjoy his death. Just make sure he can't escape it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the motherfucker has like 30 CMD. It's like you, you, uh, you got it. And uh, regarding well, okay, whilst we're fleeing, we see two two halflings uh, up on a cliffside. Tommy, it's over. It's done. <laughs> we have okay. high ground. <laughs> what's, this what's this invisibility ring I just found? <laughs> <laughs> no, I picked it up just as it was about to fall into the lava, man. We can't let magical items go to waste like this. <laughs> anyway, we are and, running for our and... lives, ignoring any halflings along the way. What happens? And mm. uh, one more question to Azrak. Nero, because of his uh, ancestry, uh, r not rampaging, uh, running like a madman, you would recall and you probably would swing by an area where you would see uh, some imprisoned uh, devils. As I don't know if you recall, Azrak, but I think you had this vision that showed you that uh, Helm of Tripe was using. Uh, Something with like humanoid devils uh, as a power source. And uh, yeah, they do not seem. They seem slightly weakened, 
but not murderously hostile, just like the rest of the uh, tribe was. Them. So... If I free you, you ate our calls. Deal? <laughs> what did they say? Yes, just be quick. <laughs> Is that a yes? Uh, yeah, that answer was yes, just be quick. Okay. All I heard was just be quick. <laughs> so, but ah, yeah, I'll this go case, ahead and yeah. just rip the locks off. Yeah, okay, so is um, Azrak the only one doing that? Or. I mean, I have adamantine claws, I literally just rip the lock off. <laughs> Nero doesn't care for the devils, even though he is <laughs> of that uh, heritage, so he's just not bothering. <laughs> Sixers is booking it, trying to make it out of here alive. Uh, we don't have the we, say, we don't have the time for a full contract, but like assist in our calls, that, that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I just want to see. Uh, would you have tried to like spot the more powerful ones, the higher on the hierarchy, or just like the first on the side? I'd just like make sure they all agree before I let them out. All right. Uh, so now that you can give me either diplomacy or intimidation, whatever you prefer. Because after all, you are speaking from position of power. Let's see which one is better. They are the same. So I'm going to use diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two. Okay. I mean, yeah, you uh, still managed to, as you have Adamantan close, quickly free some of the uh, devils. I'll just have to remember that later, if it ever comes up to that. Uh, I don't know what's the max CR of a devil creature that could be as an ally. Uh, Alright, and then you start booking it. The entire place... Uh, you, pr you probably had to like shout, like, do you agree to help us? Do we have a contract? Because... The entire area is constant howl of a rumble as the caverns fill with lava, the ceilings uh, collapse, the entire place is constantly uh, shaking and almost feeling the uh, wave of heat. Uh, the fire itself almost seemingly almost reaching you several times before you jump from one of the uh, tunnels, the massive uh, plume of uh, smoke exploding outwards right uh, behind you uh, as you uh, leave the area <sighs> take a... I mean, I would say you take a brief, but you don't have to brief, actually uh, but take a moment to recollect yourselves and take uh, notice of what the hell is going on uh, and you see several things uh, right behind you the mountain is exploding <laughs> as in where there was like a I mean high but regular uh, peak you see a volcano massive plumes of smoke uh, rocks uh, magma shooting out uh, volcanic rocks shooting out from it uh, the uh, volcanic ash has already started uh, falling in this uh, immediate area. There is the air, of course, is filled with uh, sounds of uh, eruption. And also, if you like squint just a little bit, you can swear there's essentially uh, actually, uh, if you want, you can make knowledge planes check. <laughs> Knowledge planes, okay. Rip. No, I eventually, eventually the uh, the sheep will get to where I need to be. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> I have big brain. Jesus. <laughs> All right. So Abby with his big brain, followed by uh, Nero. You are absolutely sure that what you see is uh, 
a tear in reality, a rift being opened between uh, dimen dimensions, between uh, planes. And this one right now is just like a solid, I mean, not, not solid, but liquid uh, wall of fire that doesn't lead anywhere because the effects of the storm are still present, which means that there's no like planar travel, uh, like means of escape. Uh, but assuming planar travel becomes uh, available once again, this is essentially like a violently opened uh, rift to elemental plane of fire. Oh well, it's like playing Breath of the Righteous, only with fire instead of demons. Mm -hmm. The oh, shit, flame of fire <laughs> and uh, Abby, especially. You know, yeah, there's ahead. probably some uh, form of devil in the plane of fire. I believe that's I believe that's called hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, hell is well. The plane of fire is a popular uh, uh, <laughs> holiday resort to devils. So. What? What's there to see there? The fire lake, the fire <laughs> sea, the fire uh, ground? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> uh, Zach, I've, pl I've played Wrath of the Righteous. We don't want uh, we don't want an Aeon getting involved. <laughs> I'm going to call the no. plane, please. Oh, that shit. Aeon, the inevitables. Time. Mm. <laughs> inevitables, not Aeons. If you've played the expansion, you would know that an I... inevitable gets involved. Oh, I've not played. Uh, I've not played the expansion yet. <laughs> yeah, the, the, one of the highest CR inevitables is actually the ones that fuck with that will go deal with people fucking with the planes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. No, uh, um... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, and one more thing for Abby. Uh, with what you know, that this entire region already suffered from the walls between planes being pretty thin. Uh, you have a pretty solid guess, or a, like gut feeling, that if some other places had specific... Uh, fuck, I'm blanking on the word... Affinity for a specific uh, uh, element, uh, similar rifts, as a like aftershock uh, effect might have appeared in other portions of uh, this new world, this land, like uh, an top plane of I don't know if there's like an elemental plane of ice or this is like just water. Um, but yeah, uh, something like that could have uh, uh, happened, and yeah, there's definitely a violent shake. And you also notice as you begin to end question, do you start running towards Point Aquila or the crossing, the fortress that uh, the Wanderers started refurbishing as their another base? Where's the smith? <clears throat> Last time you left him, he was uh, at the crossing. Then to the crossing we go. Mm. Uh -huh. All right. Well, we go to Point Aquila in case somebody got left behind. They did, Jim. <laughs> I mean, you don't see yet that the lava didn't reach that place yet, and probably won't. But yeah, um, <laughs> never as, mind then. As you begin the crossing, then. Uh, running, and you, you are quick enough that. Uh, you are able to somehow like escape the immediate uh, shadow casted by this huge, massive uh, wall column of uh, smoke and fire, and you can look up the uh, star at uh, the sky, and you see that shit is wrong. Like compared, you are pretty sure it will be like around midday. Instead of that. Uh, you see a void sky, other like a cosmos, as we're looking at a cosmos, and with various uh, stars, but they do not look right. The nebulas, they, the colors are, there's something just plain wrong about them. And if you like squint, you can swear you can see, or maybe a little hallucinating, but you can see 
just uh, spectral images of thousands, billions of like stream of souls of uh, soundlessly uh, howling, floating high at the high at the sky uh, souls. And actually, uh, what are you guys? Actually, no, never mind. Uh, Chuk, you can make me yep. a perception check. I'm not sure if you have like the highest uh, bonus, but I'm giving I, it because you no, are... I don't think I do. I have a plus 21, so because oh, wait, you're, like, I... a scout and whatnot, and you are used to like observing things. And I'm playing on to the eagle eye thing. Uh, the storm wall that was a constant image since you have landed here that surrounded the entire archipelago this this new world uh, is it you or is the wall is getting higher as in is the wall getting closer uh, which was the storm walls, the storm that it was surrounding the this land and was cut, cut, essentially acting as a cutoff from the rest right, of the world. If that is closing in, that is uh, bad news. I don't think it's happening quick. Like it's not sprinting, but they seem to be closer last as compared to the last time you saw them. It could be uh, because of the uh, tear in reality. Uh, the uh, uh, rift uh, appears to act as some form of uh, arcane magnet. We need to uh, warn the others. And let's go. Let's go. We're gonna run. Mm. I mean, yeah. I assume and that if they are closing, we should not be standing around talking about it. I mean, I assume you are not. This is happening as so like essentially talking and running. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I run slower than everyone else. <laughs> uh, chair can fly. If, if you do, success is going to stand on your shoulder, basically tapping you on the shoulder, going saying faster, faster, and it somehow seems to work. <laughs> and uh, one last thing uh, does the party just I mean in terms in regards to uh, Abby uh, do they share any words or is this like whatever we have more important things Abby just it was not like <laughs> is this what uh he he explains it, but at times he goes into incoherent rambles about uh, stuff that makes that has no uh, you know context on what's going on. Well, then we have one or two traitor. That's the question. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a traitor until they prove otherwise. Brazo. <laughs> <Right>, <laughs> Yeah, we're running as fast as we okay, can. So I guess Abby is with, with you. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay, so when you arrive at the crossing, uh, the place seems like it has seen a better days. Almost like it has just recently, basically minutes before, fended off another uh, assault. Um, you see plenty of dead bodies from the... Uh, the tribes that were allied with you, that basically you have managed to gain their uh, allegiance. And um, actually, you do not see that many uh, faces from the Wanderers, and it seems like uh, the most of the uh, 
guild faces have already um, moved on in a in a hurry. Actually, uh, you would see that the lizard folk chieftain is the one that is like uh, shouting uh, orders to the uh, remaining troops. Salar, where are the others? Ah, they were speaking big words, something about running out of time, magic, ritual. Uh, like a little bit uh, too complicated. Uh, we've been busy here uh, fighting against these, you know, they call them sounds big fuck of creatures, very powerful. Well, we got uh, worse things on our head as he points to the giant tear in reality. <laughs> Ah yes, it it is pretty impressive. Also, the uh, stone wall is getting closer. I think I didn't have enough. Uh, I couldn't get close enough to properly measure it, but I believe it's getting closer. Ah, it's all falling down. Well, I can guess it's. I mean, others already went to... Uh, they say you'd know what it, uh, what it is, that place. Like, kind of like a last-ditch effort. <sighs> if things are going down, if this will be the end, uh, we are planning to make this a glorious end. Oh, all the best to you then. We'll uh, uh, see if there's a way to stop this. Hey, hey, blood and fury, drink and honor. Oh, yeah. uh, he doesn't really. Go ahead. Now six just goes honor until the end, cheering them on. <laughs> uh, yeah, he doesn't really know the name, but you can figure out that uh, they meant uh, Point Aquila. And to be more specific, you know there's one place where that had a prepared summoning circle uh, relatively uh, nearby. The monastery. No, 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 not the monastery. Not, <laughs> not, not the teleportation circle. The underwater temple that was like closer towards the start of the campaign. Right. But yeah, uh, as you will be going towards uh, there, to your back, uh, far in a distance towards the uh, the direction of the fortress, you will hear faint echoes of uh, prolonged, hollow-sounding uh, dragon. Uh, roar, some explosions, just then fading uh, sounds of combat. And then, is that there? Uh, so you see that the camp here uh, is not in a state of uh, disarray. The defense is organized. I mean, not the defense, but uh, people are going around trying to set up whatever they uh, can or uh, packing things uh, up. And you would actually uh, come upon us. Uh, there's not really uh, anyone quickly visible from the uh, command squad. Uh, you do see the... Um, Protege of uh, Vorver, you didn't really uh, talk much with her. This cold, uh, aloof assassin uh, lady, uh, who, when you uh, arrive, she immediately uh, uh, approaches you with 
Actually, he doesn't even approach it. She just pops out from one of the uh, shadows uh, nearby, gives you a cold, deter trick. cold determined. Ah, she's a you know shadow dancer. Cold determined <clears throat> look and uh, says um, report. Ah, no, we failed. Not. We failed. Success. What happened? He blew up the mountain. Mm. The damn pig. <laughs> they use some form of uh, ritual to tear open a uh, uh, a uh, tear in the uh, fabric of space and time, opening a portal towards the plane of fire. As a result, it somehow detonated the uh, uh, entire uh, ritual place under the mountain. Then uh, she listens without her expression uh, changing, apart from the fact that her eyes are uh, ice cold and determined, and then she it actually, neutral voice uh, asks, uh, "Are you still able to fight? Are you still willing to fight?" Always. Indeed. <laughs> we have no uh, uh, more room for error. I cannot uh, be uh, entirely sure, but I also believe that the giant stone wall surrounding us is getting closer. We believe uh, there was also a, an attack uh, on the... Uh, uh, what was the place called again? The crossing. The fortress. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. We cannot be uh, sure on how many lizard folk uh, still stand, if they do at all. <laughs> the lead magicians can explain more about this. Uh, Side effects. Majority of leadership went towards the temple of some kind underwater. I was led to believe you are familiar with uh, the location. We came across it during our scouting, yes. There they will be enacting their uh, final gamble. Most of the teams will be busy trying to keep uh, uh, trying to keep the summons at bay. Summons at bay, and and despite the fact that you are somewhat underground, because well, the stronghold was uh, there across the entire uh, island. There's another roar that shakes uh, through the land. A roar of a creature, not newborn creature, but a creature that is freed from its uh, awakened from its slumber, freed from its cocoon, absolutely massive in size. God's bone is here. And and as 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 there is like a moment of pause, and whatever that is. If you are ready to f still fight, then I believe you will still have a role to play in this final gambit. Eve. No. And then we'll go. We'll make it right. 
is our duty. E duty. It is our role as wanderers to protect this realm. I would hate it if this momentary setback happened to stain my legacy. Huh? <laughs> Let me know that Nero de Costa has never lost a fight to man nor fucking beast. <laughs> <laughs> Never actually made the armor out of a god spawn before. Well, first time for everything. Hmm. Uh, no? She will probably here? either she will rise an ever or Hawk, the divine guardian of the place. Uh, that. <laughs> uh, something on the lines of. Uh, I. Uh, but it's it's nice and good to have like a fighting spirit, but you know, gouge abilities to uh, I don't know how to like uh, essentially yeah, the god spawn <laughs> is like not something that I think you should tangle right now. Oh yeah, it's just uh... there. <laughs> trying to mask his own fear. Right, then with hustle, and even if you hoped for any last minute uh, like changes, forgeries, uh, the forgery itself seems to like not maybe burned down, but uh, very recently they tried to put a lot of work and they basically overclothed it for the lack of a better word. Uh, so now it's like burned out for temporarily and the whatever smith seem to be panting and lying down from sheer uh, exhaustion <laughs> yeah leave that place uh, behind and then rapidly uh, you do not uh, get any enemies uh, along the way uh, however you do start noticing uh, as you're like charging forth to the entrance to the underwater uh, temple, um, not shadows, not ghosts, not specters, but basically vague silhouettes, almost like an echo of a being, uh, of many beings, those that lived and perished here in times recent and uh, long gone. This faint smoke of light just happening, moving for a moment, and then disappearing once uh, again. And then, uh, as you are uh, basically bursting uh, in, charging forth, um, you, you will be arriving and essentially hearing uh, quite heated uh, discussion, something about a lack of catalyst, uh, sacrifice, that no, you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be uh, you, and this intense uh, discussion is par partially paused when your eclectic uh, group uh, arrives. Hello. And the nominal <laughs> leader of this expedition. Eternus slightly tilts his head. Ratings. This situation has We've become failed. quite dire, hasn't it? Yes, agreed. It we apologize, but we failed to stop the pig. <laughs> Uh, Ulfgar just uh, face palms. Agron tilts his, like raises an eyebrow in confusion. Uh, Eternus uh, says, "Well, I'm certain you remembering your the talk we had. I'm certain you did your best. However, a pig, I'm." I'm 
afraid I'm not exactly sure. Are you talking about your former teammate? I do recall I'm not seeing a face that was once among you. Yes, he blew up the mountain. Mm. I'm so glad that our observational skills are thriving here. It's a wonder we managed to achieve this much already. Huh? Yes, yes, explosions! And you didn't help. Mm. <laughs> I help, you know help. <laughs> I would advise retracting that statement. <sighs> hmm? You didn't Wait. stop, Master. I am already getting very close to uh, turning on an ally. <laughs> but at last, we have bigger priorities. Why? Uh. Is that I'm. Okay, that's weird. Um, okay. Uh, as he says, uh, Saying that you are here, uh, I believe you are uh, informed vaguely about what is happening, and if you are still uh, willing to fight and not surrender just after one setback, uh, you will be quite uh, needed, as the rest of us will be occupied. And we shall go. Mm -hmm. No, we're all we... ready, right? We have to make it right. I admit it with pain, but the only way that we can have a chance of pulling this around somehow or just doing something positive is to disable this. Uh, storm. Our efforts have managed allowed us to look at the place and as it happens uh, when the crystal walls will go down uh, the tunnels here after a long while but they should be leading you uh, towards the uh, destination. <laughs> However and partially from your own knowledge, uh, the creature, the guardian of the device of this place, well, of the, the fulcrum that is keeping the storm active, uh, is one uh, mighty creature. And while I do not doubt your martial prowess, uh, we believe that we are trying to find a way to bring forth a summon of our own, an assistance of some kind, even if it won't be fully manifested, any kind of buff could be useful. I mean, does any one of you use this um, electricity, power of the storm, to hurt their enemies? Six of raise the hand. And then do it and jump in the air. Mm. Actually, the elemental thing. The Guardian is sadly immune to the power of the storm. The electricity is doing nothing to, uh, to him. He's similarly resistant to acid, cold, and fire. Acid, less so. <sighs> I know you are not much or um, spellcasters yourselves, uh, but I will ask nonetheless. Do you have means of using the weaponizing sound to deal sonic damage, essentially? Mm -hmm. yeah. If I decided to take a different discovery, I could have, but at mm -hmm. present, I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine. What was it? Acid did fine. Mm. Uh, yeah, essentially it has, uh, let me 
because I even... Yep, it has uh, resistant acid 15, and that's the lowest... Uh... Sure. Thing. It's like acid 15, and cold, and fire 45, and immune to... Immune to electricity, you say? Yep. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so we're trying to break something? <laughs> Can we only use elemental damage? Crush no, it. no, no, just saying. Um, well, I'm practically used to that. Um, question two. Again, you can, you can imagine, like, fluff wise, this, this discussion sounds different, but my question is at the end. Uh, as like, how large do you have to be to be to attempt to grapple a colossal creature? Like, not not thinking about CMD, just like how big you need to be to like attempt to grapple a colossal creature. If I were, Let's see, get, get as large, huge, gargantuan colossal, and I can go up two sizes, I would have to be huge. Yeah, not going to make you large. We would need something like, I think it's Angelic Aspect, or a giant form, or something like that. Uh, are there potions that could be made? I don't think there are any potions that could be made. That would, that would be too high of a level. Mm -hmm. If only we had like a number of companions that were uh, high level wizards or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or just a wizard party member, that would also... Mm. Everything's so much easier, but that's uh, we chose to go with the martial idea. I mean, I'm just asking, and if this sounds, yeah, it, it does sound doable, so they probably would be able to uh, do something like that. Uh, all right, um, essentially, Eternos. Um, and I will just flash back to this scene if it, any other information becomes relevant to the fight ahead, to the uh, probably final fight of this campaign, but we'll see. Uh, final boss fight, I should say. Uh, Eternus says, uh, well, for now, we'll be busy trying to do the Ritual, whatever assistance we can get from the Lightbringer would be useful, and we would ask of you to uh, stand guard. And you do recall uh, that last time you were here, there was something about those crystalline uh, walls, almost like they had um, crystal like monsters inside of them. Oh dear. Then uh, back mirror for will just uh, be uh, dismissed uh, to lead the uh, delaying efforts on the outside. Good luck mm -hmm. to you, uh, wanderers. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's make it right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you can essentially position yourselves whatever you want, apart from like not too close to the uh, crystal walls. Do we heal up as well, or are we still the same HP as we were at the end of that? As point? you see, uh, uh, yeah, they would notice that uh, you are somewhat uh, banged up. <laughs> Uh, so, they will definitely offer uh, healing. So, yeah, mechanically you can like uh, heal up. And yeah, but not on the uh, summoning circle. <laughs> uh, can I be above on the, uh, on the ceiling? Uh, no. You're not? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's see. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, you will see that. Shall so you even like pay attention that the ritual uh, begins and this entire place, the, the crystals that are already like shimmering with energy, they start uh, shining extremely brightly with uh, with power, and the hum also gets extremely loud uh, that we are not able to hear what they are uh, whispering or talking between uh, one another. And the uh, eruption of energy, the activation of this, uh, will shake the entire cavern and the crystalline walls will also start cracking and through these cracks you will notice uh, uh, large uh, humanoid shapes and you may roll initiative okay okay aha mm. this is just where i'm gonna wish i would chosen improved initiative if i can watch <laughs> <laughs> Natural one in coming from sixes. Haha. Haha. Or. Ha ha. Aha. Jesus fucking Christ. Ugh. Wait, are we underground? Yes. Yes. Alright, so that's 19. Get fucked, Nero. Mm. <laughs> I'm so I was I'm so used to being the quickest person for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that that gets to uh, my new character. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking plus nice. 16, Christ. Nice. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let us begin the battle as this place so far. Uh, yeah, Abby, you have the first initiative. Ow. <laughs> Um, second, I want to make sure. Okay, that to get put on. All right. All right. Oh, there they are. Um. What do I want to do? Uh. Uh, come on, sheet. <laughs> uh, you know, since we didn't do it ahead of time, I ain't going to fly next to Azrak and give him potion of a large person. Make him big. All right. Because they need they big. He needs to be big. <laughs> okay. All right. That's your turn? Uh, yep. Alright. Uh, one quick mechanical question. Uh, does the... This... You do not see it? Like, is their line of sight working? Yes, yeah. I don't... I don't see. Neither right. do I. Yeah. Basically, this is like a, the, the, the energy and the light is... Sunshine that it, like, blocks your... Uh, Vision. Almost feels like a, there's like a prismatic dome effect going on, kind of like thingy. All right, uh, success. Okay. Right. Let's see, can I see all of them? Do do do. Can I be here? Mm. Uh, yes, you may. All right. I think they both get an attack of opportunity against Sixus as he charges in. Mm -hmm. uh, considering they have uh, reached 10, yes, they do. Mm -hmm. They make it. All right, so mm -hmm. one claw and second claw. Mm -hmm. I'm taking those miss. Uh, yes, they both miss thanks to mobility. Then Sixus uh, draws his blade, but I still haven't. This one, as he casts his newest maneuver, and in a single slash aims to cut down both of them. Mm -hmm. So, make one attack against both of them. 
Uh, this is currently earth damage since I heard that guy was immune to that. Immune earth attack, earth magic. All right. I mean, this, this is th this is not the guardian. This is like those are yes, the crystal creatures. Crystal got overexcited. Um, <laughs> so yes, they're immune to earth. Mm? Uh, yeah, those are essentially all their like defensive uh, okay. stuff. They are yeah. fine with everything else. All right, uh, acid, same thing. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. This but... is mm -hmm. All right, both of them make sixty-six damage, uh -huh. and if they take acid damage, they take eleven more. As Sixers cuts cuts through them into the wall behind them. That's my turn. Mm hmm. Uh. All right, yeah. So the 66, it deals a nice chunk of damage on uh, both of them. Mm -hmm. Actually, you said like it's 11 more because yeah, they do take acid. Yeah, 11 more to both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so. All right, all right. Uh, they look they're like slashes and cracks, but they are still uh, standing. These creatures made out of gems and whatnot. Uh, Chuyuk, your turn. Mm. Seeing those things uh, that far away, he's going to attack one of them. So a full attack with his longbow. 29, 24, 21. You are looking for 25 to hit. So that's a uh, uh, one hit, shot. one crit. All right, so uh, just gonna okay. Uh, Six damage, all in all. All right. Uh, okay. So accounting for the R10, so that will be ninety-six because of the R10 against all that. But cluster shots. Uh, so yeah, all of these attacks will have to go uh, against uh, one target. <laughs> Because 196 yep. will deal a hefty chunk of uh, damage, almost blooding air quotes the creature, uh, but it will still uh, stand. However, it is, that is your turn. Uh, I would also move my falcon, but I don't have line of sight to be on uh, that section because of the. Uh, dome yeah, be in the yeah way. because it's reaching the entire of the ceiling so this area is like can't move into there into there and it right, so i'm just gonna uh, move by the falcon? oh right grand token vision should see it now oh all right there we go in that case i'm going to my falcon is going to charge that thing and uh, hitting with its dizzying blow 35 versus AC. Uh, that will definitely hit. However, do they have combat reflexes? No. Okay, so it doesn't provoke. Alright, so for 27 points of damage. That's another chunk, uh, chunk of uh, rich mineral stone that composes the uh, crystallis creature is slashed off all right and uh, that's your turn yep all right uh, Nero okay uh, Nero is going to boop teleport to uh, here 
I don't know. <laughs> um, before going to, well, he's going to swift action. Um, he's going to swift action haste himself as a start. Uh, let me just quickly apply that, and then he's going to use uh, ether wave. Uh, uh, which is that 40 foot cone uh, ability which I think does avoid uh, fucking up Zixus I believe uh, yo am I going to get hit by more AoE by allies uh, <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure it avoids fucking up Zixus because it would go to the square there and then expand Julius, it's only yes, fair sir. it would at the very least I think well, so go like that, and then yeah, it would, it would no, go no, like that. And what did yeah. you just say, Zach? Hmm? It's only fair. Only f hey, now just because I hit Donut a bunch of times in that one campaign doesn't mean he gets the right to hit me back. Well, thankfully mm -hmm. I'm being mature about it and not designed to enact petty revenge. <laughs> <laughs> you are a better man than most of us. It's like there's a yeah, I know. It. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's been it lightly. Uh, but yes, I'm going to need two uh, DC 27 reflex saves from these elementals, please. Alright. The reflex saves are surprisingly not absolute shit, but they... well, we'll see. Alright, so this one... What a bastard! That was the lower one, and then for the upper one... That one, okay. the upper one fails. So what... Okay. Um, so one of them's so the first one, this one's going to take 25 damage, uh, force damage. So 25 for that one, and All then right. 51 for the other one. All right. They are still um, standing, but you see that they have taken terrible uh, pounding, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, that's that's my turn. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look what you just Put it back. But I'm gonna go for it. Let's see. Uh, this is for something else. Not for crystallis. Yeah, it's shite. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, you will see. That... Let's see, okay. So for now, starting with the ones that are uh, active. This one, they'll be not using uh, meta attacks. They're gonna use... They're gonna breathe forth a cloud of orange smoke. This is a free action. Uh, essentially, uh, it's gonna... Probably knew about this uh, about these creatures. So this one is targeted. That cube is targeted on Nero specifically. So you can give me a DC 22 Fortitude save. Uh, both of us. Uh, this one is yeah. I mean because the second one will focus that on you, Sixos. So. Mm hmm yeah, do, 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 do. supernatural. Okay, I can do I can use will against this. Wait a second, I need to check if I to make sure I can do that. Spell like ability spell, spell like ability, psy like ability, that's not a supernatural like ability. Alright, for to save it is. Uh, mm. Alright, you feel for a moment as if your flesh desires to crystallize, to change into something else, but you, with impressive green goblin willpower, you shake it off. Nice. And Nero, for did you save from you? No, not. Do we need a for did you save from my falcon? Uh. Was I mean depends if your falcon was <laughs> how high it was essentially. About six feet, uh, uh, six feet above ground. I mean, it's a ten foot.